But do you ever sense that, that God is giving you the silent treatment? You ask him for help. God, would you please help us? God, just tell us what to do. We need some direction here. Silence. There is 400 years in history between the Old Testament and New Testament where there's nothing. It's called the 400 years of silence, this intertestamental period. 400 years of silence where there's no word from the Lord and there's no prophet from God with the, a word from God. Just 400 years of silence. What do you do when it feels like God is giving you the silent treatment? Then the silence, God still keeps his promises. God keeps his promises. We say to God, God, why don't you say something? But the truth is God has already said something to us. Imagine that a young husband, um, newly married, is in the military and he is sent to Afghanistan to serve and he finds out that he's going to be sent on a mission where he'll have no communication. And so he, he lets his wife know, hey, in a few weeks I'm going to be on this mission and there's going to be no Skype and no email and no phone calls, no incoming or outgoing mail. No, there's not going to be any communication and, and how he's going to feel while he's away from her and what maybe he needs to hear during those times where there's silence and they can't talk. And so she tries to write all of that out and she sends this whole collection of letters to her husband, the silence of the mission, when he longs to hear from his wife, but they can't communicate. What does he do? He pulls out the letters and he reads what she says to him. And it had already been written, but it's still her speaking. And, and that's what the Word of God does for us, that in these moments of silence, we know God has spoken. God keeps His promises. What He said was true is true. And I'm sure the people of God encouraged each other with these words during those 400 years of silence as they continued to have the, the Passover. And they would remind each other how God had rescued them from Egypt. Or, or maybe they read passages like um, Isaiah 41.10. God says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. And in the silence, it is a time to open up the word of God and to hear his promises and to be reminded of what he has said and to know that what was true then is true now. He has spoken, that there will be a day and it's, it's coming. So there's a promise where he will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there'll be no more death and mourning, crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. We hold on to those promises in the silence that God has spoken and God has said to you, the day is coming when this will end. The day is coming where I will make all things new. And so you hang on and you be faithful.